O-T-N-O. Good afternoon. A post-mortem exercise is underway on bodies exhumed at Shakahola in Kilifi. Government Chief Pathologist Dr. Johansson Odor is leading the exercise at Malindi Hospital. As for the DNA, uh, there's a process which is running concurrently. Uh, there is a Red Cross who uh, established some tracing center. Once we get we get we get the, to know the relatives who have reported the missing, they go to submit their DNA to the government chemist. So that now, when you take samples from the diseased, this will be matched. So that now we can know who belong to who. Dr. Dor was flanked by Interior Cabinet Secretary Kendeki Kiture, who noted that the government will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh, we are going to be doing the autopsies in teams and uh, once we finish we'll do the briefing as uh, have been announced so that now we can be able to, to tell you what is going on and what we're going to do next. This is a responsibility like no other. The country is waiting to know the truth. We want to know what happened. The Church and Claudia Association of Kenya has condemned the generalized accusation against places of worship in the wake of the Shakahola massacre. Chairperson Bishop Hudson did a call for action against Paul McKenzie of Good News International Church. There are many faithful pastors and church leaders in Kenya with a proven track record. The incident by Paul McKenzie should not be used to smear and malign the Pentecostal church. Paul McKenzie is a cult leader and is not a pastor. We want generalization to stop. What do we do when we have a rogue doctor? What do we do when we have a rogue teacher? We have never seen generalization. We have seen the government take action on individuals. President William Ruto is at this hour leading the country in the Liberty Day celebrations. The celebrations at Horu Gardens are the first under the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musali Mudavidi is currently making an address. Samoy Ruto President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, my colleagues, members of the Cabinet, Governor Sakaja, the Secretary General of KOTU, Brother Francis Atwoli, and his entire leadership, the Speaker of the Senate, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, workers of Kenya, Hamjambo, Wafanyikazi Hoi, Asante Sana. Your Excellency, I'll be very brief just to make two points. The first point is to say that I am delighted and extremely astounded that the one Honorable Secretary General Francis Atoli has spoken without blinking saying that Mambo Yelisha Badilika. Well, Prime Cabinet Secretary Msalia Mudavadi there making his address at Uhuru Gardens. Well, speaking of Atwoli, court who boss Francis Atwoli earlier on and the Zimu leader Rallo Dinga to call off demonstrations. Speaking at the Labor Day celebrations, Atwoli and the President William Bruto and the Zimu leader to hold talks. Raila Monodinga did a lot for this country. Akuna mutu ilajui. And the president is here, is prepared, pamoja na deputy wake, na prime minister, waangalie, hata kama ni hile kazi yake inikuwa ya kuangalia mabarabara ya Afrika, ama uchaya manimungine hapa, tumutafutie bamba ya hapa dani, lakina siku anapato opportunity ya kufungua mikutano, asisukumwe sana na wale ambao kuna wengine wezi kujua. They used this name to enrich themselves. We know them. Atoli added that issues affecting the country should be discussed at length even as he weighed in on the involvement of former President Uru Kenyatta in party politics. Sir, sir, what makes us think? They were arrested in Garissa. The suspects were armed with four AK-47 rifles, 540 rounds of ammunition, a machete, military uniforms and other crude weapons. The arrests followed a tip-off from members of the public. Father Phil J.P. Morgan is set to take over troubled U.S. bank First Republic in a deal brokered by regulators. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation confirmed in a statement that First Republic had collapsed 
Investment banking giant JP Morgan will now take on all the deposits and substantially all of the assets of Fast Republic Bank. Fast Republic becomes the third major U.S. bank to collapse in recent months. That brings us to six minutes past one. These and more stories at two. I'm Teddy Utieno. Good afternoon. The Hot 96 News.